Hey guys, it's my name is here. Welcome back to episode three of the Game Maker tutorial series. So yeah, today what I want to cover is vertical movement and precise collision. Now, the collision is going to play a key role in my game. Um, it's going to be a, a platform type game, but it's going to have a few quirks to it. Um, so. I'm going to cover all of the basic stuff regarding collision detection in this tutorial um, and I've actually looked at some of the work by Sean Spaulding for this so I want to first give a big credit to him for his work regarding this sort of stuff um, yeah so I'll put a link to his tutorial as well in the description below just to make sure and go check that out um, but yeah so uh, we've got his initialized object we're not going to be using that um, but we have the player object and the wall object. So, um, the wall is a solid and the player is not solid. So, and we want the player to interact with the solid object. So, in the create event, um, we want to create a new variable and it's going to be called can jump, like that. And it's going to be called cju and it's going to equal true. So a player can jump basically. Um, that's all we need to do in a create event. The main place where it comes into play, all the collision stuff, is a step event. So, um, yeah, all we've done here is assign the A and the D key to um, the horizontal speed. So, um, we're going to be doing the W key today and I'm going to try and get it all of the way in the collision detection So in this tutorial. So the first thing I want to do is assign the W key. So it's going to be called the uh, up key. And it's going to be W equals. Uh, this is going to be keyboard underscore check underscore pressed. Because we don't want to hold this key down, we just want to check that it's been pressed once at the previous step. Um, and then it's going to be odd. Uh, quotation W and that's going to be closed off by three brackets like that and that is going to be part of the horizontal movement right there and I'm going to just separate that with a few hyphens right then so I'm going to copy and paste that I'm going to move down here and this is going to be called the vertical movement. Oh, and notice how I'm using a skin now. This is actually a skin that I've applied to Game Maker. Um, I believe it's called Minim Dark. Yeah, this is just the skin I've applied to Game Maker, so um, yeah, I'll put a link to that in the description as well. Um, anyway, right, so let's get to the crux of the stuff. So, let's minimise that. Um, for the vertical movement, um, HSP, uh, that's horizontal speed. Um, I've just got this all wrote down on a note above me right now. <laughs> um, let's start there, that might make more sense. If W and so uh, that's checking if W is pressed, and let me just check. So yeah, CJU is equal to true. Like that. Actually, I'm just gonna close that with a bracket. Oh, not like that. I'm gonna put on the like that. That might make more sense. So that's checking if W is pressed and can jump is equal to true. Um, that's gonna activate the W key. So, um, First thing it's going to do, it is going to set vertical speed to equal minus jump speed, like that, and then it's going to set can jump to false, like that. Um, that's just going to close off a brace there, and yeah, now we should have the basic W key function uh, but we need to add gravity so um, 
what I'm going to put there, I'm going to put if w is pressed, like that. And I'm going to start a new line. Call it parameter. No. Like that. Right then. So, this is where it gets interesting. If vertical speed is less than. Um, yeah, let's just say 10. Open a bracket and then it's vertical speed uh, relative to plus of gravity. Like that. What that's doing, that's adding gravity on every step to the vertical speed until it reaches 10. So, um, right then. So, we should have basic gravity now. I believe. Oh wait, no. <laughs> One thing. We need to actually apply that to the player. So obj underscore player dot y plus equal. <laughs> That's why I need to set that to vertical speed, of course. <laughs> Sorry about what. There we go. So, as you can see I did jump then, but I collided with nothing. So, let's start with the collision detection now. Um, so, uh, just trying to think now. Let's put this before the gravity. So, if place underscore meeting, uh, let's open a bracket. It's gonna be uh, oh actually let's let's do this for the horizontal first. So put it there. Place meeting. Um, X plus HSP. HSP, um, which is correct, and then Y, and then OBJ underscore player. It's going to open a bracket. And then, what this is going to do, this is going to check the collision before it's actually occurred. That actually uh, reduces the amount of errors that you get within the game. So, um, while um, the place isn't meeting, so and underscore, oh wait no, X, and this is where it gets confusing, so it, that needs to be plus the sign. What that does, that returns whether X is positive or negative, so then we need to do HSP and comma Y O B J underscore player like that. So what that's doing, uh, that exclamation mark, that is while the place is not meeting the sign returned of um, horizontal speed plus x um, and then we're ignoring y and it's targeting obj player um, it's going to increment um, x or decrement it by one until it reaches a collision so uh, we need to do x plus equal sign HSP. Close that off. And then that needs to close up like that. Then after that code is executed, we do HSP is equal to zero. Like that. What that's doing, that's incrementing the coordinate of X for the object until it collides with the object, so this is while it's not meeting. So, um, 
that's the horizontal collision, right? now we need to do the vertical collision. And that's fairly easy to do. All we need to do is paste that in there, but replace these values, so that's y plus vsp. Um, that is just x, that is y plus sine vsp. And that's vsp, that is y, and then vsp. So, we should have got perfect pixel collision there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a few bots to the room. Uh, objects, object wall. Let's just add a few measly bots to the room. <laughs> right then. If this doesn't work, I will be surprised, but it should do. Ah, oh, right, so we forgot a bracket. <laughs> um, that should have fixed that. <laughs> I forgot about that. Oh. So, alright, why is it not working? Uh, ah. Pierce bar, put it there. And then, oh, one second. CJ view. So it can jump, is then equal to true. So that allows a player to jump again if they collide. So that's performing a collision check before adding the gravity. Oh, it's not working. Why is it not working? Right, so, after a lot of experimentation, um, here is how things have panned out. Um, I've set the jump speed to 7.5 because the player didn't jump enough for a start, so that's the only thing I've changed in the create event. Um, going back to the step event though, um, I put the collision below the, the movement calculation because um, if it's above it, like that, um, it sets the horizontal speed to the movement speed, which is previously, so this calculation is worthless in a way. Um, so you put that after, like, the horizontal movement calculation, which means that the horizontal movement speed will be always be zero if it's place meeting as OBJ wall. Um, I've also added a minus one to this because um, that means that the player will be one pixel higher than the object wall and it allows them to move horizontally otherwise there will be a collision and it prevent them from moving um, and the other thing is that where the error was <laughs> I was targeting OBJ player yeah, that naturally needs to be OBJ wall so um, I was just in a bit of a rush to get this tutorial done, that's all. So never had a chance to do it earlier. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much everything. But I will provide a link to the source kit for this if you have any problems. And then um, if you do come across any problems with the code, please feel free to message me. So, um, but yeah, this is, as far as I'm aware, um, a working pixel perfect collision detection system which calculates how many pixels you are away from an oncoming object if um, you do begin to collide with it. So, um, the problem is with most video games is that, like, starting developers calculate the collision after they've collided and send the player back, but um, it can cause bugs later in the line. Um, however, yeah, like in terms of 3D, um, that is more often the case because, um, yeah, because of such an amount of like polygons and stuff that a game has to process, it's usually better to um, do it in that way. Um, but in terms of game maker, this is perfectly fine as a method. It is a bit demanding at times, but since there's only low polygons and things are 2D sprites, there isn't much of a problem. Um, 
anyway guys I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial um, yeah I will be like yeah getting more into the maps and stuff of the game like and delving into like the things that I want to do with the game a bit more um, later on in the project but yeah this has just been a tutorial on collision detection and the gravity but I hope you've enjoyed it please don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you in the next tutorial peace out